everyone welcome to the signal system class in today's class we will discuss the block diagram reduction techniques we will discuss the various rules which we can use to reduce a given block diagram as you can see that the first rule is that when the blocks are connected in cascade we can replace those blocks by a single block between the input and the output. In the figure we have shown two blocks G1S and G2S which are connected in series or cascade with each other. In that case we can replace the two blocks G1S and G2S by a single block between the input RS and the output CS and the value of that block will be obtained by taking the product of G1S and G2S. So we have replaced the blocks by single block G1S into G2S between the input RS and the output CS. The second rule says that if the blocks are connected in parallel to each other then we can replace those two blocks by single block between the input and the output and the value of that block will be equal to plus minus G1S plus minus G2S that is if there is a plus point with G1S then we will get plus G1S and if there is a minus sign with G1S we will get minus G1S if there is a plus sign with G2S we will get a plus sign with G2S if there is a minus sign in the junction point with G2S we will get a minus sign. It depends upon the sign at the junction point. Now let us move to the rule number 3. The rule number 3 says that if there is a loop then how we can eliminate it in the, with the help of the block diagram. Here we find that G1S, GS and HS are making a closed loop. In that case we can replace the loop by a single block between RS and CS and the value of that block will be equal to GS upon 1 plus minus GS into HS. That is if there is a minus sign in the junction point with HS then we will get a block whose value will be GS divided by 1 plus GS into HS and if there is a minus sign, if there is a plus sign with HS at the junction point in that case we will get a single block whose value will be equal to GS divided by 1 minus GS into HS that is if HS has a minus sign then in the denominator we will get 1 plus GS into HS and if there is a plus sign with HS at the junction point then in the denominator it will be replaced by 1 minus GS into HS. You have to keep this in mind. Now the rule number 4 says that if we have to move the junction point after the block G is a block we are moving the junction point after the block then we will have to add a block G with X2. Similarly if we move the junction point before the block as in rule number 5 we will uh, connect a block 1 by G with X2. Now the rule number 6 is how to reduce the given block when we move a takeoff point after a block. Just you see that this is just opposite to rule number 4. In rule number 4 if we are moving a junction point after the block we add a block G but in this case when we move a takeoff point after the block we will add a block 1 by G. Similarly in rule number 7 if we are moving the takeoff point before the block 
in that case we will add a block g with x2 i hope all the rules are clear and you will be able to solve any problem with the help of block diagram reduction techniques